Hello my Vim friends. This video is going to be a little bit longer than usually uh, because I'm going to dip my toes into something fairly complicated. So today I had this problem. I have to make a SQL file containing SQL insert queries which are going to insert some stuff into a database and they're all very similar except for one little thing which is the username. So I want the username to have the incremental IDs. So I want them to go to one, two, three, four, five, to a million. So at least over 9,000, right? Okay. So I thought to myself, what should I use? And the answer was pretty simple. I should use macros. And the question is, well, macros? Yeah, there's something that you're probably not going to use very often, maybe a few times a year. But once you do, they will give you like this superhero, superman, elite, hexer, um, godlike, divine editing ability to do a shitload of work with insanely little effort. So usually when you would have some kind of a task where you would do a lot of kind of like scripted editing, you would create a complicated Python script or even worse, if you're like an idiot, you would do all of the manual work yourself and then spend hours editing a file when you could just use a macro to do it for you. Um, and today I'm going to show you like very, very simple sequential macro, which is going to do what I want. Okay, so what I want to do is record a macro to a register. Um, and registers, if you don't know what they are, I, I can at least assure you that you've used them before, even though unknowingly, because the operations like deleting and yanking and searching in Vim all have their respectful uh, registers. But for you, think of them as kind of like variables that you can store your, your stuff into. And they're referenced by letters from A to Z. So um, let's record our macro into a register called A. So what we do is press Q A. And as you can see in the bottom, it says recording. Now we are recording all of our actions into the register A. So our, our macro is very simple. Um, and when you make macros, just keep in mind, you wanna do something that's repeatable, that's going to run in a chain. Uh, so, yeah, in my case, I yank the line, paste it, and then I want to go as close to this field that I'm editing as possible. So I go to F colon, and then I do um, control A to increment by one. And that's it. So the next macro that's going to play, it's going to do the same thing, yank the line, paste it, and when you do paste, it moves the cursor to the next line already, so you don't have to think about that when recording the macro. So we can just stop here and press Q again, and that stops recording. And now our macro is in register uh, A. And if you want to paste the macro, you can do so. Do Control R A. I will paste it. And if you want to change the macro, uh, without re-recording it, you can just do let a equals, and then in, in the colon, you put your new output that you've edited in, in your buffer. So I don't want to do that. So, okay. Now let's give it a try. So the way you play the macro is you use the add key and then the name of the macro. So add a, whoops, add a. And as you can see, it worked. Now I can play it more than once by giving it a number before the add symbol. So let's say 10 at A. And that plays it for me 10 times. So what I can do is um, play it 9,000 times and it will record the thing for me and do my job and I'm done. It's really that simple. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.